All right, for those of you who have never seen the inside of a uh, geothermal unit, I've got one open here. Uh, uh, this house has t -t 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 nine systems total, one of which is a regular gas fired uh, with a regular gas fired split system. Um, but this is, uh, so there's eight in this house eight geothermals in this house and one in a, uh, um, a garage apartment but we'll just kind of go through it real quick just to show you it's the, this is the, the, the top of the unit there's your blower motor this is a really simple Florida heat pump that's the brand name uh, here's your uh, uh, evaporator condensing cool depending on which uh, uh, cycle you're in. Um, got your regular um, contactor, capacitor. Um, there's a board back there and your terminals, your low voltage connections. Um, and of course your uh, your your loop coil. Um, there's a different name for it. People call it different things. Um, I'm wrong. I call it condensing coil, but that's water, water from the loop. There's your pump. Um, get up and stand back a little bit so you can see a little more. Um, that's your pump for your loop. It goes up. Goes back, and I'll I'll show you where it goes through the wall here in a second. Uh, this one's got a humidifier on it, but anyway, water from the loop goes in, down there, uh, comes out, leaves, and uh, this would be your, uh, if this was a regular split system, this would be your outdoor coil right there. So, uh, and of course, this one's got a, uh, a Linux, but it's nothing more than a... Uh, on the inside, it's got a like a April air filter media. Okay, not more than a nothing more than April air. So, and then you got your heat strips up here. They connect that little box right there. Uh. But that's all it is. It's pretty simple. So and you got your TXV right there. And you got your reversing valve back there. I don't know how well you can see it. And you got your uh, uh, ports right There's one port there. And uh, back in the back, that's your hot gas right there. And that'd be your suction line right there. So. And we'll walk back here and I'll show you where it goes through. So, it's all the way up. That's the water going upstairs right there. There's three systems up there. There's another system right there. Same setup. There's another one here for the basement. But the basement's unfinished, but they. If they ever want to finish it, it's got a system. Uh, there's a water line there. And there's your two loops. I don't know exactly how many wells are out there, but um, uh, it's quite a few. There's pumps. There's a pump right there and a pump right there. And let's see. This is for one of the systems on the main floor so anyway but that's what the inside of a, a um, over the heat pump that is what the inside of a geothermal looks like so show you where the other one's at down down here that's the other one 
as you can see they all have uh, uh, pretty much the same setup except for the basement the only thing different with the basement is it does not have a humidifier so anyway all right well that is a uh, kind of a general tour of a uh, inside of a geothermal water source heat pump I did forget to add a while ago um, um, right here uh, this port here is where you check the uh, uh, how much water pressure is in the line uh, you just gotta my, my gauge is off about five pounds so uh, you just push it in there and right now it says it's got about 45 pounds and I did just add water to it um, so that's where you check your water pressure and your temperature of your water let's see right now it says the water is 73 degrees so anyway I just want to uh, throw that kind of in there and, and uh, but that is the um, tour of a geothermal oh, this is pretty basic one um, this one doesn't have variable speed motor and and um, the new ones have variable speed compressors inverters just like on the mini splits um, so the new the new ones are really really super efficient um, but anyway well this is it all right we are up in the attic uh, a lot of walking in this house but uh up in the attic i had this one pretty much apart the only bad part about geothermal stuff is uh a little tough to work on anyway, not that it's hard just this real small, real tight in there, and, and uh, I had to find the freon leak. Once I found it, it was pretty easy fixed. And uh, but anyway, so this is the uh, this is a uh, one I'm gonna add, and we'll walk over here and show you the other two. So the upstairs is divided into three three sections. Of course, that one does the far end of the of the house, a couple bedrooms. Um, this one here does the, uh, the center part of the upstairs, and and the one we just looked at back in the other room does the uh, uh, right hand side of the house. Anyway, that's it. So I'll get the uh, get these checked out, and then I'll have one more over in the garage apartment. So there you go.